course, with Stephen Akintayo. And today, this is an amazing friend I've known over the years here in Dubai. Great realtor. This guy has done over a billion Durham in, in property sales. And he's a V blogger, also. You need to check his channel. Does a lot of luxury apartment. And a fine boy with a beautiful wife and an amazing guy. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Farouk Sahid. How are you doing? Good, good. good. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Stephen. Thank you. Yeah. And I must. Uh, commend you like it's an excellent uh, concept yeah. and I'm very excited to have this chat with you. Today. Awesome, awesome. Good to have you. I remember the last time you were stuck in Pakistan when the lockdown happened. Oh man, that was... I was almost stuck too. <laughs> that was an experience. <laughs> yeah. We actually went there to sell real estate Yeah. and my trip was supposed to be three days mm -hmm. and it ended up being three months. Wow. Airspace was closed down. Wow. I took four or five t-shirts with me which I repeated. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because wow. all the shops, all the malls, yeah. everything was closed down. Wow. And uh, it was quite an experience. Mm. It was quite an, luckily, my wife was there. So yeah, think, you know, so it was. We had uh, some entertainment. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, quite an experience. Wow. Quite an experience. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, right. I mean, you, you've been um, in been Nigeria for a while. I mean, many times. And you kind of like it in Nigeria. Uh, I love Nigeria. Yeah. I love Nigeria. I love the people of Nigeria and yeah. I love the Nigerian food. Yeah. So, the, which of the Nigerian food are you, are you interested my in? My favorite is that the rice with the big chicken. And, and, and you know what I like about Nigerian food is because yeah. some of the chicken that I had yeah. was huge yeah. in size. <laughs> I was like, what are you guys getting the chickens over here, you know? And it's spicy. And, and you know us, yeah. our part of the world, yeah. we love spicy yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. So, it was, love the food. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember the name. And the bananas, the fried bananas. Yes, yeah. Like, Dodo. Yeah. You call it Dodo. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Dodo. Uh, Dodo is good. Dodo is very good. Yeah. Uh, love the chicken and rice. That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. What my, my first question would be, you've done over a billion dirhams in property sales? Uh, a little over, uh, way over a billion dirhams now. Yeah, the last time was a billion, now way uh, over. It's way over a billion. What, what, how did you, you know, start that, how did you build yourself to be able to convince somebody to sell, to buy a property from you? See, in a I mean, competitive environment like Dubai. Uh, Dubai is a very competitive environment, but yeah. then again, there is a lot of business in the city. Yeah. There's a lot of realtors out there, I agree. Yeah. Um, but one thing that, you know, keeps makes you stand apart from the crowd is yeah. obviously your knowledge, your mm, skills. Mm. People are coming to us for investment advice. Yes. So at the end of the day, if you're giving honest advice yeah. and if you're selling the right product, yeah. because there's a lot of real estate in Dubai that you can buy. Yeah. But when you meet someone, you yeah. give them honest advice, yeah. you should know mm. what mm. you're mm. advising someone. Yeah. So yeah. the most important role as a realtor yeah. or someone in the real estate industry yeah. is knowing the competition in the market, knowing yeah. the properties in the market. Yeah. Convincing and advising someone mm. the correct advice yeah. is what people are looking for from true, us. And at the true. end of the day, I believe every realtor has a code of conduct that mm. he needs to, mm. you know, adhere by. Yeah. So yeah. knowing your properties, knowing your knowledge, that I think is what people are paying us for. Wow. So at the end of the day, Amazing. if you know your thing, you will stand apart from the crowd. Amazing. Yeah. I know you have a Bentley. So I always <laughs> ask my guests. Bentley and Rolls Royce, which is your favorite? <laughs> See, I mean, I'm sitting in your Rolls Royce. So I'm gonna say Rolls Royce. That is a political answer. The customer is always right, but obviously, I own a Bentley, so yeah. I prefer yeah. Bentley. Uh, but they both are, you know. Yeah. Uh, very very nice cars, okay. and I must say I like the interior of yours yeah, better. Yeah. It's red. Yeah. Mine is white, yeah. so I like. You I, like red. I prefer the red one. Yeah. <laughs> GTEx Home is a brand with vision of having the largest green and smart estate with innovation and technology. The vision has given birth to Jasper Gardenia along the coastline of Ibejuleki, Lagos. The first green and smart affordable estate. Now, Jasper Estate is just 10 minutes away from Dangote Refinery and is just opposite the Lekki Golf Course. And guess what? The title is Gizet. Now, you can get a property here, here because here, my friend, is the future. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. 
My name is Stephen Akintayo, known as Africa's most talented investment coach. I started 13 years ago as an entrepreneur and knowing nothing um, but having the guts <laughs> and of course wanting to be wealthy as I was born from a poor family. My mother was a civil servant. My father's business had crumbled before I was born. But I knew that we could be wealthy. But something changed my life. At the age of 17, I started reading book on money. And I got to know that I can be wealthy. It's possible. I started the first wealth university. By the time you're done with it, you can literally start your own business or be able to learn how to invest in a business and make money for yourself. I'd like you to sign up today in www.stevenakitayuniversity.com. So when it comes to investment advice, when it comes to property, you're in that field, what are the three things that can mix uh, up someone uh, um, to know the right property to invest in. See, the three golden words in real estate that they always say is yeah. location, location, location. location. <laughs> I like that. So knowing the right location yeah. is very, very important. Yes. Uh, in Dubai, you need to know not just the location, but yeah. there's other things like, for example, if you're looking for a condo or an apartment, yeah. you need to be knowing, obviously, the location is way, is extremely important. Yeah. Going for a yeah. prime location within the city, yeah. especially like Dubai, yeah. there's quite a few prime locations. So you okay. have downtown, marina, yeah. uh, palm, these yeah. are all prime locations. How about Maiden? Maidan as well okay. is a very upcoming area okay. and it's located right next to downtown so okay. that itself okay. has its own uh, benefits. Yes. Secondly, knowing the developer that you're working with. Okay. So we work with almost major developers okay. in Dubai. Okay. So buying a quality product is very important. Mm -hmm. So you might be in the best location. Yes. However, if the developer is not top notch yes. or has not made a good property, yeah. you will lose value over time. Okay. So that is very important knowing the developer you're yeah, working with yeah. and then most importantly for people for example overseas yeah. is knowing the brokerage company you're dealing with because yes, yes, you that's true. The, the role of a broker yes. is not to hold your hand and take you to developer yeah, offices yeah. it's the after sales service mm, that matters mm. we help our clients rent their properties manage their properties wow. take care of any snags yeah. during the handover process yeah. we walk you through the entire process wow. and our relationship doesn't end and when you buy a property yeah, it yeah. starts yep. when you buy a property i love that so you need I to remember that. that so i love that. i always tell my clients that when you're walking into our doors and yes. buying your property that's just the beginning yeah. because over the course of a customer's life you will yes. buy multiple properties True. sell multiple properties True. rent multiple properties True. so our job as realtors mm -hmm. is to take care of the entire process or to take care of the entire journey of yeah. a client yeah. and i think if you give top-notch good quality service yes. clients would not want to go to any other realtors awesome. so those are the three advices awesome. that i would always give any client that is looking to buy property in the wow. Wow. <laughs> amazing amazing that's very very true now for you between real estate and other vehicles what 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 vehicle do you think is the best to retain asset if you're asking me and i'm a real estate <laughs> person so i'm going to tell you my product is the best so in my opinion real estate is the best store of value yes. over long term yes you know, you might not get those spikes in returns that yes. you might get when yes. you invest in Forex yes. or you invest in equities. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't get those sort of uh, inst unstable returns yes. in my opinion, but yes. you'll get a stable return on your money. Mm -hmm. And over time, you will beat the currency inflation mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. Your return, you know, because if you keep cash, yes. cash is losing yes. value over yes. time. That's true. Governments yes. are printing yes. money yes. at the end of the yes. day. Yes. Real estate is an asset that will store your value, will store your money, yes. money yes. in real terms. Mm. So it's, in my opinion, the best and the safest mm. and the longest term in terms of store of value for oh. money. So I would always suggest people to definitely keep at least a major part of their savings mm -hmm. and investments yeah. in terms of real estate because I do believe worldwide and historically yeah. real estate has always beaten most asset classes. Well, Farooq has a fantastic V blog. I, I remember when he started, sent the link for the first video. Started last year. Right? Yeah. yeah. Year and then, now. And before you know it, three months or six months down the line, <laughs> I checked his channel. It's over, boom, 30,000. Right now, over 70,000. I've become the yeah. largest real estate uh, YouTube channel in UAE. Woo! So, so we are ahead by 
my my real estate channel i think the second highest is probably less than half of my subscribers so wow. i'm very, very proud congratulations of, and, and where it, did the idea come from honestly i've been doing real estate for over 12 years now yeah. 2008 was the first time i started real estate yes yeah. and it took me 11 years to get onto social media yeah, use it for me I, so. i remember when you when when you first came to nigeria you saw me doing <laughs> facebook live and that. you were like, like okay yeah, okay uh, interesting i said i can talk from a camera <laughs> yeah. it shouldn't be rocket science uh and honestly i think the trend is moving towards social yes, media very it strongly is, it is. and honestly it's helped me mm. scale my business yeah i can imagine quite astronomically over the yeah, last one year we've just like i just mentioned to yeah, you we've just expanded. expanded our office wow. we've just got another uh office right by our previous office so we've yes. pretty much doubled our sales team wow. over the last few months during the period of during the year yeah. of corona yeah you <laughs> were asking what are the opportunities i said this is the best time to expand yeah, your business because yeah. a yeah. lot of people are going out of yeah, business which is in my opinion yeah, exactly. the best time to get in the business it's, Oh no no no. no. You know, this is the best time to get <laughs> That's in. That's the idea. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean when, you know when everybody is quitting you join. Exactly. When they're joining you leave. It's <laughs> just go opposite. And you win. It's not it's not rocket science. 100%. Right. So we've had a great year. Yeah. Uh touch wood. Let me yeah. You know we've had a great year <laughs> alhamdulillah right. we've had yeah. uh Uh, real estate has rebounded quite well in Dubai yes, in the last 3 yes. to 4 months yes, so that's yes. really helped us as well the market itself has moved up yeah. property prices have finally moved up after 6 years nice. from 2014 to 2020 in Dubai we saw nice. the prices declining and this is the nice. first year that I I'm, I'm confident to say in the last 3 to 4 months we finally started seeing an upward trend wow. so that itself has actually uh, helped us quite a lot nice. obviously all the realtors are able to sell a lot more nice. than the yeah. you know yeah. projects have sold out yeah multiple projects have sold out yeah. prices have started shifting upwards yeah. so that's helped a lot as well but in general the investment uh sentiment in dubai is very positive right now. even I though mean, oh, yeah you know we are globally we are fighting challenges yeah, yeah, but yeah. that i have to give kudos to our leadership in yeah, dubai yeah you know the rulers over here that yeah. have really had a very positive outlook yes. you know they've they, they've taken all yes. the measures to yes, curb to curb yeah. uh covid and the pandemic to, but they've managed it yeah. excellent yeah. I give you know, it to so them. I'm, so, so I'm very proud to be in the city. I'm yeah. lucky to be here and Amazing. be a part of this uh, industry as well. Amazing. Yours is a is a is a gener- uh, second generation business. That's right. Uh, tell us about your father and how he you know he got to UAE and how you've picked up from where he started. So my father came uh, to UAE when I was less than a year old. Wow. So I've pretty much stayed here all my life. Wow. Um uh, my dad is an electronical engineer by okay. profession so he worked for a few multinationals like GE for okay. a long time and then finally in the early mid 90s he decided you know what enough is enough I Sorry. need to start my business. So wow. he started from a rent a car business. Oh. So we had a car rental business which wow. we started back in the 90s from two cars wow. and we led it to over 100 vehicles by the Ooh. time we liquidated the business and Ooh. then we then he doubled a bit with uh, the restaurant business as well okay. Okay. but he was always a investor in dubai wow. so since the year of 2000 when pretty much real estate was just starting off yes. freehold properties or real estate was starting in dubai wow. he started investing in dubai and he had very good wow. returns wow. and in 2008 he finally decided that you know we were buying and selling enough real estate so yeah. him and a few of his friends got together and said you know what let's start a real estate company just to manage our wow. investments wow it started off from there and yeah. then in 2012 we decided you know what let's make this our core business wow. and let's jump into the brokerage side okay because previously it was more as an investment yes, firm yes yes where friends and family yeah. were coming and investing yes, their money yes. and we were buying yeah. and selling real estate on behalf of family oh, and friends okay then in 2012 after you know i had already a few years in the yeah, business yeah. i said you know what let's go towards the brokerage side yeah. and let's go deep dive yeah. you know and start hiring realtors and let's start hiring brokers and yeah. agents and we started our business yeah. and that's how the brokerage part of the business was yeah. born yeah. g text homes a subsidiary of g text global brought to you by steven kintile and is bringing you Jasper Estates.
It is located along the urban area of Ibeju Lake, Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> this is just luxury at the tip of your fingers, which is 12 minutes drive from the Black Pine Tropicana. It's 15 minutes from Dangote Refinery. And it's 5 minutes to Lekki Town. 2 minutes from Stone Beach Resort. It is just adjacent to the Dangote Jetty. And if you want to like to travel down memory lane and be in tune with the relics, a Wolo Museum is five minutes away. It is barely 11 minutes from Lekki Deep Sea Port. Pick up that phone, dial that number, send that WhatsApp message to the number on your screen and secure your slot today. Also available in Abuja. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. So I was born into a very poor family. My mother was a civil servant and I will always recall how we used to go to neighbors to borrow money to send me to school and my siblings. There's just something about poverty that is not attractive. I, of course, read my first book on money at the age of 18, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I started my business 13 years ago with just a thousand naira. I'm going to become a multi-billionaire corporation today. The habits that I learned from those books are the ones I've practiced in the last 13 years that has helped me to build the empire that we built today is what is loaded in the books. And some other role models of mine who are billionaires, what I've noticed about their habits and see you at the top with your testimony of how the book has changed your life. The billionaire habit authored by Stephen Akintaya. Hello guys, so we're still um, live here at Investment Chart in a Rolls Royce and I have uh, a top real tour um, having the largest uh, YouTube uh, channel on real estate here with me, Farouk Saeed. We've actually known each other who, for a while now, you know, done business in Nigeria and, and uh, here also. And it's been great having him on the show. So, um, you recently entered into the business of marriage. <laughs> it's two years now. How has yeah. been the return yes. on investment? <laughs> Excellent. Everyone should get married. <laughs> this is the best investment you will do in life. Uh, no, I'm, I, mean, I mean, besides fun and jokes, yes. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to have married my best friend. Wow, so, I've, I've had a very, very interesting two years. You know, I've, nice. I've known her for a while now. Nice. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, it's been an excellent two years. Wow. You know, uh, out of that one year was spent in the corona year. <laughs> there wasn't much to Yeah, do. exactly. Uh, but no, and I'm, also, uh, Pat's been stuck, <laughs> uh, you know. No, no, but I had an excellent two years. That's uh, good. That's Zara good. and I have known each other. Uh, for a while now and yes. you know it's been uh, a beautiful two years so I highly recommend this <laughs> great investment best returns on investment you can put a price to happiness so the returns are infinite you know? <laughs> infinite returns on investment you can put a number to it uh, definitely better than real estate coming from a realtor <laughs> I like that I like that that, that that's excited uh, you know yeah. I mean everything you're doing in yeah. life yeah at the end of the day, the goal is to be happy. True. You know, True. and money doesn't always buy happiness. Absolutely. Real estate always doesn't buy happiness. Absolutely. You know, uh, though people do say that they're happier in a Rolls Royce than they are yeah. in a car. Uh, however, so. true happiness and true contentment yeah. comes yeah. from, you know, love, yes. life, yes. making the most of what you have. Yes. And spending your time, yeah. the little of what we have in this yeah. world, yeah. with the people we love. So That's definitely absolutely. getting married with the right person is definitely something that helps Amazing. us in the pursuit of happiness. Amazing. So anybody thinking of investing in, in Dubai, what would be your advice to them? The market is at an interesting juncture. Okay. right now in my opinion I do believe that the city is amazing the way it's developed mm -hmm. over the past 20 years if you look at yeah. the level of development happening in Dubai yeah. it's it's astronomical you know the way they have developed the city the way yeah. that things have come up yeah. they've literally come up from the desert mm -hmm. I do think we've seen highs and lows yeah. in Dubai yeah. and I do believe that right now yeah. the market the city yeah. 
yeah. the supply and demand yeah. is in the right position. Though I do agree I'm a real estate agent and we're always <laughs> trying to sell. Yeah. <laughs> but I do genuinely believe yeah. right now is the correct time to enter into the market. Okay. We've seen some positive growth like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah. After six years, you're actually seeing the market starting to move up. Okay. The question, is this the bottom of the real estate market is a question yeah. that we've asked ourselves and investors have been asking realtors mm. and realtors have been asking themselves yeah. over the last three years that have we hit the bottom? Yeah. Have we hit the bottom? Have we hit the bottom? Yeah. But I do believe now we've genuinely hit the bottom. Okay. Why? Because the replacement cost of lots of real estate in Dubai yeah. is now, you know, the market prices are below the replacement cost. Wow. So if a building in downtown cost me, for example, 1500 dirhams a square foot yeah. to construct, the prices are below that. In Palm and Jumeirah, there are certain areas and in Dubai Marina, in GLT, property prices are below construction cost. Wow. So if prices are below construction wow. cost, wow. you know, you will, wow. we, we've already seen the supply and the developers be very, very particular about the kind of project that they release. Wow. You know, every Tom, Dick and Harry had gotten into development previously, wow. have now stopped construction. Wow. Because the market prices are below the construction cost. Wow. So at this point of time, if, if you, you buy, buy the yeah. right asset, yeah. once again, yeah. if you buy the right asset yeah. in the right location, 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 yeah. I don't think you're going wrong. Wow. So definitely, in my opinion, if you yes. go for townhouses and villas have done phenomenally well okay. this year. Okay. So we've seen a lot of people move out from the extremely crowded areas close okay. to their jobs or close to their kids' schools. Yes because of uh, work from home, because yeah. of kids yeah. homeschooling, yeah. Uh, primarily because people are not having to travel to work that yeah. much yes. and they prefer to stay in their houses. Yes. They prefer to move from apartments to townhouses and villas. Oh. And uh, this year, this is more spacious, more spacious, they need you the know, space yeah. rather than, you know, having your kids grow up in yeah. a vertical tower. Yeah. You'd rather have them grow up in a villa with a garden, yeah. with a place to breathe. Mm a place to, you know, uh, spend time with family. Yeah. So I do believe uh, uh, most of the villa communities have done exceptionally well. Okay. This year with Imar, with the major developers like Miras and yeah. Dubai Properties, yeah. <coughs> we've seen their townhouse communities do very well. Okay. Currently, there's, for example, by Imar, there's a community called Arabian Ranches 3 okay. that I do believe will do really, really well. Wow. Um, and it's selling really well right now as okay. well, where you can buy a three bedroom for about a million and a half, okay. a four bedroom for around two million dirhams. Okay. All right. Nice. On a and you will take me to this this place. Yeah, for sure. So, for guys, sure we'll watch you. out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be showing you some. We'll beautiful definitely show you. For people who are looking for holiday homes yes. and they want some sort of a return on yes, investment. Exactly, that's my audience. That type of uh, people, like for example, like I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of your people are international, yes, based in the US, yes, yes. based in Nigeria, yeah. UK, all around yeah. Europe. Yeah. Those people would want to have something that they can probably use yes. during their time. Yes. So there's a project called Imar Beachfront that okay. is doing phenomenally well right now, okay. which is one of the few projects that have a private beach Ooh. underneath their tower. So you can actually buy an apartment, Yeah have uh, your own private your own beach, private beach. Woo. the prices are very very good right now wow. MR is a top developer so yeah. even ranches yeah. 3 that I mentioned and MR beachfront is yeah. both by the top developer okay. in Dubai so if you're buying something from them you are guaranteed good quality okay. good property management okay. good you know uh, quality and uh, you'll always have clients looking to buy your properties okay. so MR beachfront is doing phenomenally well right okay. now for those people that they can even rent those apartments mm. on short-term rental mm. when they're not in the country true so yes. if you're coming to live in Dubai for a couple of months and yeah. you want to rent it out for another yeah. 10 or 12 months yeah. you can easily do that uh, by the help of short-term early day nice. uh, rental companies so we can uh, look into those type of yeah. investments yeah. and Imar also manages those investments oh. while you're away okay and uh, go That's for the good. big companies besides that downtown is also doing really well okay if you buy the right tower the right okay. apartment okay. you're getting a very very good price for yeah. this is for ready apartments okay. so you can buy something ready in downtown right yeah. now yeah. you know you can buy a one bed for as low as a million to 1.5 million wow. you can buy a two bedroom for 1.5 to 2.5 million wow. these prices have not existed before now in before in downtown there's wow. no way wow. to get something ready wow. at these prices wow. so there's a lot of opportunities there mm. besides that like i said anything with a good view anything that has good mm. accessibility to highways sure. to roads yeah. will always do well wow. to public transport yeah. so these are the things that you want to look out for Amazing. within your investment rooms awesome <laughs> thank you so much saeed thank for you coming. <laughs> um, you know as you you probably know i've written 
35 books. I know that. They're all on Amazon. <laughs> so this is one, very, right. it's called Entrepreneurial Tools, all right. Business Plan and Grants. Okay. Um, you enjoy reading it, you know, and... Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank this you so much, okay Kevin. It was, a, it was a great <laughs> experience and always it's a... It's an awesome experience meeting you every time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you ah. so much. <laughs> so guys, that is another awesome episode of Investment Chat in the Rolls Royce with my very good buddy, uh, Farouk Saheed. And we've had a great time on the show. And I hope that, um, you know, you will stay tuned and watch us next episode. Remember, we're always showing on channels, television, 2.30, uh, Nigerian time and then of course we are also streaming across social media uh, you don't want to miss any of the episode of this show love you bye bye